Hello, and thank you for taking some time to join me today. I'm Donna Rodriguez, Customer Support Manager for Click Safety. With a long history and over 10,000 satisfied customers, our training solutions have been proven to reduce risk and operational costs to your business. I and the whole team here at Click Safety are here to help you build a comprehensive safety culture for your team. During this tutorial today of the Click Safety Administrative Dashboard, I will cover the most common questions we receive. Questions like, how do I add a user? How do I assign training? How do I track my user's progress? Can I find a certificate of completion? And how do I remove courses from users? This is a basic overview of what your administrative portal can do. Let's get started. Once logged into your portal, you should see your company name here at the top of the page. Let's get started with adding a user. What we will do first is click on the first tab here stating Add Users. We're going to go ahead and add your user's last name first and first name. The four digit unique identifier does not need to be secure. This is something we simply use for the back end here at Click Safety. In this case, we're going to use 2021. Again, this unique identifier can be whatever it is you'd like. We're going to go ahead and click on the search button. This is going to let you know you have some users with similar names in your system. Since Jacob is not in our system here, we're going to go ahead and click on no match add user. At this time, we'll fill out all mandatory information. Anything with an asterisk is mandatory information. We're going to start with the email address. Once an email address is added, a mobile number is no longer required. However, I do recommend adding one if you have it. The next portion we'll add is a password. We do have a password requirement, which is an uppercase, a lowercase, and a special character. Let's go ahead and click on Add User. Once your user has been added, a username is automatically generated and the password you created is added and visible to you as the administrator. From this page, we can go ahead and begin to start the assignment process. But for training's sake, we're going to go ahead and go back to the front page. Now that Jacob has been added to your dashboard, we're going to go ahead and click on Summary. Summary will always take you back to your beginning page. Now we'll see that we have a couple of users in our not assigned training. Let's go ahead and click on that. We can find Jacob, who is our newly added user, and click on his name. What we'll do now is go down here to select action. And for training's sake, we're going to go ahead and add an OSHA training course. So let's click on assign training course. Now we will click on go. Again, for training's sake, we're going to assign an OSHA course to him. What I recommend at this level is to just add a keyword, OSHA, and click on search. Jacob will be getting the OSHA 10 general industry course today. However, if you needed a different course, you could then scroll and look for any other versions of our OSHA courses that you'd like, or any other course that has OSHA in the title. Again, today we'll be assigning OSHA 10 hour general industry to Jacob. We're going to check mark the course, click on add selected courses, verify the course that we selected is visible, and now we're going to click finish adding courses. Our next page will allow you to assign the training due date. For an OSHA course, I recommend adding six months as that's what's mandatory for OSHA a user must have their course completed within six months. In this case, we'll go ahead and add it to February 20th, 2022. And we're going to click Finish. We'll now be redirected to Jacob's user detail view. And what we see now is that Jacob now has the OSHA 10-hour general industry assigned. 
He will then receive an email with his username and password and a secondary email to notify him that a course has been assigned for completion. Once that's done, we can go ahead and click on Summary to return back to our homepage. The next subject we'd like to cover is how to track your user's progress. If you have a particular user who needs a status check, what you can do is simply search for their name and search your account. In this case, we're going to check on Jane Doe. I recommend using either first or last name. We're going to see Jane here populate on our search. We see that she has one course assigned. Let's go ahead and click on Jane's name and see how much progress she's made. Jane's user detail view populates for us after we click on her name. Jane has slips, trips, and falls for construction assigned to her. We see that she has 0% completed of her course and has a target completion of 8-13-2021. She started her course on July 16, 2021, but is not completed. If Jane had completed any of her course, you would see the percentage that she had completed here in percent complete. The next topic we'll cover is how to locate a certificate of completion for a user. What we're going to do now is do a search for John. John's completed a course and we're in need of a certificate. From your administrative dashboard homepage, we're going to go ahead and do a search for John. Remember, either first or last name is best. We're going to type in John and click on search. As we see John is populated on our screen, let's go ahead and give a click on his name. John's fall protection for construction course has been completed and that's the certificate we need. We're going to go ahead and go all the way over to the right hand side and click on the certificate icon. Once we've clicked on the icon, a pop-up with a certificate will be generated for you to print or save to your desktop. You'll notice that John's certificate has a unique identifying serial number that is unique to John and his course. It also has a location for John to sign his certificate once he's printed it out. If John had any other certificates available to you, they would be available to you here at his dashboard. You'd be able to see the certificate icon under any completed courses. The next common question we receive is, how do we remove training from a user that's already been assigned? That's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and take you through that. Again, we saw that John had a few courses. Let's use him as our user. Let's type in John and click on search. We then go ahead and see that John has three courses assigned to his account. Let's go ahead and click on his name again. As a list of all courses that show, there is one course that is available to be removed and that's noted by the radial box here next to the name of the course. We'll click on that box and then down here below, we're going to click on Remove Selected Courses. And the course has simply been removed. For courses that have been started, you will need to reach out to our support team to have that course removed and units added back into your account. Thank you for taking some time to join us here for a brief overview of your administrative dashboard. If you have further questions, you can always reach out to our customer support team via email at support at clicksafety.com or over the phone at 1-800-971-1080. Let's build a strong safety culture together.